What's going on, Doombots? Tony Scangilli here with the first inaugural semi-biannual created tier lists are dog shit stream. Uh, I'm going to clip this up, put it on YouTube, so say hi, everybody. Basically, here's the rule. Uh, tier lists are dog shit. They are. Every time you see a tier list, it's bad. Uh, it gives you bad advice. Sometimes you might get lucky and a tier list is useful information. Sometimes you look at a tier list and it tells you the best character in the game is so-and-so. Uh, and by the time you get that character or whatever game you play, obtain whatever you need to get it, uh, the character's useless because the meta has shifted. Uh, that's why tier lists are dog shit. So this is my uh, attempt to make tier lists a little bit more manageable and by doing so discussing not just why a character is good but giving them a little bit of a range so there's no such thing as a rating the best character in the game changes based on weeks months, years days uh, there's no way to do it so here we're gonna start off with something simple something easy we're gonna look at all the tech characters in Marvel Strike Force and we're gonna rate them in a tier list the tier list system is very simple uh, it's S a B and trash now you notice there's a sub category on every one of them uh, an s tier character is a character that is great period conversation is over this is one of the best characters in the game at the time of this this tier list uh, an a tier character is really 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 good uh, a b tier character uh, is fine uh, and a trash character is dog shit uh, simple right and now you see these sub tiers s s star a star those are characters that uh, are really 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 good uh, but more because of how they work with their team or because of a very specific thing that you need them for or because like unlikely to be as good in the future as they are right now uh, and you'll see there's not many characters most characters are just what they are if they're good in raids they'll be good in raids until new raids come out that kind of thing so starting right here uh, in general if you want to get a good idea of a tier list you can look at my roster because for the most part I will work on characters that are good so uh, Doc Ock right off the top Doc Ock is a, an S tier character uh, for a lot of reasons on his own he does absolutely great uh, amounts of work to uh, a lot of the game modes uh, he improves the quality of an entire team and improves the quality of other teams just a very useful and reasonable character um, across the board. So Doc Ock is an S tier character. Same conversation, we have Shuri. Now, you have to bear with me. There is quite a few tech characters on this list. Somewhere is Shuri, probably in their S, because these should be alphabetized. Boop. Boop. There we go. So we have Shuri. Uh, Probably one of the best tech characters in the game. Now, again, tech used to be the best class. It's a great point. Uh, tech used to have all of the best characters uh, in the game. And uh, Shuri is, hands down, one of the best characters in the game. Here's another thing, if you're paying attention to chat, uh, another reason why tier lists are dog shit. Because every single thing you ever see in a tier list is subjective. Because for every person who believes that objectively this character is good there's somebody who either doesn't have the character doesn't have the investment has a bad experience has a bad example uh is terrible at the game millions of possible reasons why someone's going to disagree guarantee you there's at least two people currently watching this video the stream whatever it is and looking and being like sure he's better than doc ock why would they be there and that's the point tier lists are dog shit because opinions don't fucking matter because people who are good at the game don't waste their time with stuff like tier lists here I am making a tier list. Take what you want out of that. So, we got some other tech characters right here. You know what? We're just going to go through the list of tech characters. Uh, organizing them down. I, think, I don't think we have to go too far. Ravagers, Nebula. We're pretty okay. See? Here we go. Here we go, another chat list. Someone's saying Sinister is S tier. In the tech tier list. Tier list or dog shit? Aim Assaulter. B. Aim Security. B. Agent Coulson. A. Questionably. 
good in his team and useless outside of it. Good on specific comps, but doesn't necessarily matter. Ant-Man. Ugh. B. Let's see. Crossbones. I don't even think Crossbones is necessarily good on his team. But uh, we'll give him a B plus. Uh, Falcon. Falcon on his own is incredibly useful. On his team is incredibly useful. Uh, if anything, it's either A or one of the best characters at specific things. So uh, I'm going to give him an A because I don't care. Uh, Ghost. Ghost is also an A character. She is literally one of the best. Uh, she might also make an argument for S+. She's really good at what she does. Uh, really great in Dark Dimension. Uh, useful in a couple of things, but ultimately mediocre at best. Uh, and, and again, I don't, think, I don't think any particular team comp makes her better. I don't think she's an amazing... I don't think she's god tier on the Pym Tech team. She's just a good character, so she'll get an A. Hydra Armored Guard. Where are you? Which one are you? Jeez. You're the fat face one, right? Yeah. Hydra Armored Guard. Dude. Nothing. You can make an argument for A+, but, like, nah. Uh, alright. Hydra Grenadier, Hydra Rifle Trooper. Okay, all the Hydra characters except one. And they all fall in the same category, too, which is hilarious. Boom. 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 These are some pretty average, mediocre characters. Uh, they don't even, like, scale up. What else we got? We got Iron Man. Ooh. Iron Man is, is a plus. You know, he's a star, as you guys are talking about it. But he's definitely low up. He might be here. He's like a B character, but on his team, he's incredibly relevant. Uh, what do we got? Korath, mediocre character at best. Boop, 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 boop. Korath. There he is. B, doesn't even go up on a team. Tier list or dog shit. You 100% right, bro. Notice the amount of respect I'm showing this. If you If you said it was none, you were right, because there's no reason to respect this. That said, I don't think the information I'm giving is inherently wrong. I think all people are, understand that like these characters aren't great. This character could be better. These characters are okay. These characters are really good. Um, we're skipping Ironheart because she's not in the... Uh, or she wasn't on the line yet. But I might as well put Ironheart in here. Ironheart uh, is another A character. She's very similar. Like Outside of her team... Ah, bump. Outside of her team, she's not as relevant inside of her team this kind of works meaningfully so we got that great uh ghost is not s not even slightly uh kree cyborg let's see where these kree the crediates are kree cyborg he's pretty decent damage great kree oracle great merc lieutenant great merc sniper oh Actually, Merc Lieutenant on the right team with the right setup is pretty good. Uh, not on his own, but like you wouldn't necessarily always throw him on a team. But like the right kind of team, he really does shine. So we'll give him a little bit more. Uh, and then Merc Sniper is dog shit. I'll give him this because he technically cannot. He he's technically a hair better than Trash. Uh, rescue. Rescue is one of the exact examples of a character that's only good on their team. So she goes down to the pool. Uh, Star-Lord is an example of a good character that gets better but is never truly great and doesn't really last that long. So... Come on now. Star-Lord. Let's put him... Uh, I'll put him here. He's like the lower A character. 
you know not not one of the best at what he does but what he does is becoming less and less relevant pains me to do it but he falls down pretty hard uh ultron ah uh, god damn it where's ultron which one of these do you like i like this one so let's put ultron right up here one of the best characters in the game i missed mysterio Oh, I did. So I did. Mysterio. Thank you guys for pointing that out. Oh, God. Let's see. Should be really easy to find the bubble. There it is. So Mysterio uh, is completely useless outside of his team. Right? And on his team, he gives them a value, but it's not necessary. It's just a good option. So... Uh, while he could technically be an A star, like almost an A, but needs a lot of work. Nope, B character, not important. Rocket. How did I miss characters? I didn't miss Rocket, did I? Oh, I did. No. Oh, yeah, I skipped this entire row. Damn, you're right. I guess I just don't respect any of those characters. That makes sense. Rocket. Rocket does a good amount of damage, uh, but again, outside of his team... He's he's kind of irrelevant. And even on his team, he's kind of irrelevant. So I really want to put him as an A star. Like, I really want to put him as a could potentially be one of the best characters if you build around him. But that's just not true anymore. So be gone. And just to let everybody know how this works, none of these matter. These can go anywhere. None of this is matter. And I don't respect your opinions on the topic. So fuck off. Uh, Scientist Supreme. Uh... This is, this is very obvious. Scientist Supreme does not necessarily get better or worse. She is really good at something, though. We'll give her a low A. Like, she's really good at the thing she does. You just don't need to do that thing a lot. But in that regards, her team is pretty good. Her team is useless without her. Uh, there's You can use her. You don't need to invest in her. She's a fine character. I'll give her a low A uh, on that. Shocker. Oh, my God. Shocker. I can't wait. Shocker's not even good in the context of his team. And and if you have Doc Ock, you literally never have to work on a Shocker ever. Uh, so where is Shocker going here? Probably under S, right? You would think. Shocker. Yeah, sorry, dude. Like, you are just a hair above garbage on your team. Like, you are the rescue of the Sinister Six team. It doesn't matter. Shocker's better than Mysterio. That's not true. <laughs> but it's a good thing you have that opinion because you can make your tier list and write that. Because tier lists are dog shit. Are useless information that don't matter. So what else we got here? We got Vision. Uh, Vision is awesome. Um, and that's unfortunate. Because everything else about Vision sucks. Vision. Uh, he has like a great kit. But like his, his focus sucks. He has like a great uh, uh, survivability for a team that doesn't matter. Um, he's completely outscaled. You can't really do anything. So we're going to put him at B because he's n better than all of these characters combined. But like, come on. He might, it might even be disrespectful to put him in the same conversation as some of the minions. But at least the minions on their team don't suck. Uh, so they stay there. What do we got? We got War Machine. We got Vulture, War Machine, Wasp, and Yellow Jacket. Cool. Uh, Vulture. Uh, Vulture is in the same conversation as Mysterio. Uh, he's a useful character in and outside of his team, but he's way more useful in his team than out. Uh, that said, if you don't have him on his team, you're still okay. Um... If anything, the the problem is, if anything, this made an argument for Mysterio being shittier than he is, and not, uh, yeah, Mysterio is actually a little bit shittier than that. You guys convinced me based on the comparison. Uh, Vulture is a, a at least Vulture on his own is a reasonable character. Uh, none of these characters really do much on their own. Mysterio, ah, Mysterio doesn't suck that much on his own anymore. Fuck it, I don't care. This doesn't matter. Tier list don't matter. War Machine, uh, so you're going to hate what I do with War Machine, guys. Because, uh, unfortunately, uh, War Machine himself 
I might be able to justify this. The biggest problem with War Machine is 100% of his damage comes from building garbage. Like, you have to build the rest of the team or have heroes or he loses value on that. So, as a result of, like, what War Machine takes to invest in compared to other tech characters, because, again, this is a tech character tier list exclusively for tech characters, not comparing them to anyone else. He is basically, yes, perfect example, Galaxy. He is a Black Bolt that takes a, sh oh, we're saving for the end. Uh, it takes a ton of like work to get to. So it's not worth it. We're not even bothering. Now we have Wasp. Ha 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 ha. She's only here because she has a team. She would have been here right up until Pym Tech. And of course, Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket is surprisingly an A character. Yellow Jacket is amazing at what he does outside of his team. He is a great assassin character. He does a great amount of damage. So he's there. Now here's the, the, the tip of the iceberg, the final piece. Just a quick scan to see. There are no other tech characters. Uh, these are just, you know, Ultron minions, which I'll actually put in here as all better characters than, than Nebula. But we don't have much. The one character we did kind of skip was Minerva to save it for the end. Uh, where is she? She's under M, right, for Minerva. Here she is. Cool. Bang. That's it. No, those are the Ultron minions. That's it. So, as far as tech characters are concerned, four of them are among the best tech characters we've ever seen. Uh, hands down, no questions asked. These guys, compared to the rest of the pool, are among themselves. Uh, you can make an argument that Ghost might go a little bit up. You can make an argument for here. But I'm not making that. I'm not making that argument. You can make an argument that Doc Ock goes down a little bit because he doesn't hold as much weight as he does on his team. So this is it. Just to, to pop this out, uh, let's do a quick save of this template. And this is the tech template. Take a look. Enjoy it, guys. Breathe it in. This is the tier list I have designed for tech characters. Keep in mind three things. One, tier lists are stupid and people who do them are stupid. Hi, I'm idiot. Number two, people who respect tier lists are equally stupid and get bad information. Doesn't matter if it worked. You got your bad information. A blind, was it a stop clock, blind squirrel, call it whatever you want. Uh, and number three, I'm going to be doing these all the time to piss everybody off who thinks that tier list is a respectable and useful way of conveying information. You can disagree with me on this, and that's great. I don't care. You could think that a character is somewhere that they shouldn't be, and that's great. I don't care. I don't have to respect you or any other content creator's opinion. You don't have to respect me or anything I say, and that's fine. Tier lists are dog shit. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.